Hi Pisces, this is going to be your weekly love reading. Ooh, some of y'all have a, I didn't even ask a question yet. I just wanted to see what this is. Some of you guys are going to be having a lot of uh, options and it comes to love. Okay, you're going to be meeting the one here pretty soon. Like, okay, you're going to be, there are going to be several options collective, but so choose the right one right use your discernment here there's some sort of union you coming into union there's a sudden change you like a sudden meeting with someone here yeah look what's on the bottom of the deck talking conversing meeting having fun you guys are getting ready to meet a few people or maybe this is the energy you've been in i'm gonna go ahead and just take these um there's some energy here that here so you guys can see this there's just some energy here okay like you might be going out hanging out having a good time there are a couple op different options here all right um i don't know if this is you suddenly seeing like ooh, suddenly seeing this person or a new person right because i do feel like this is rather new energy here whoever this is though there's going to be a lot of communication Okay, and, and like I said, out of all of these options, some of y'all even may have a decision. There might be a decision you may need to make between a couple different people like, which one do I like? Okay, <laughs> which one do I like? Which one do I want to go on a date with on Tuesday? Which one do I want to go on a date with on Thursday? You know, whatever, it's giving good vibes. But the thing is, it looks like here there's a decision that you're going to need to make. Mm -hmm. All right, I don't know what that was about. Some of y'all are dealing with the uh, Pisces or Capricorn, or you might be a Pisces or a Capricorn. Um, but you might have a choice in between old and new. But I feel like one of these people amongst the few, um, it's gonna be a rather, it's gonna be a good connection, like something long term that can be built long terms. All right, so get ready. Get ready. Let's see what else is going on. Looks like you're gonna have a good night on the town. A good night on the town too here. Yeah, look at this six of wands. A good night on the town. Six of wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Okay, we'll see what else comes out. Six of wands. What else here? So in six of wands is the energy. Oh, two. Okay, look at that. The ten of cups want to come out, but I'm not taking all those cards. Six of Wands is about victory. Okay, this could be somebody here who gets a lot of attention collective. Maybe you get a lot of attention. Maybe somebody could be seen in the public eye. Somebody could be popular. Hmm. Paparazzi is what I'm getting here. I don't know. Let's see. Maybe this is somebody here could be seen in the public eye or have a fan club. Maybe you have a fan club. Somebody's got a fan club or gets a lot of attention. Alright, the chariot. Cancer energy. Ooh, somebody's going somewhere. Because these are both like vehicles, like modes of transportation, right? In tarot. So this could either be coming towards you very quickly, because that is fast energy. Page of Pentacles. There goes that offer. This person could be a younger earth sign. Somebody's like hopping in a car going somewhere and they're looking very good. Okay, whoever this person is, they're very attractive. Okay, or maybe the both of you guys are very attractive here. Somebody here too, somebody drives a nice fancy car. I'm telling you, somebody here dresses very nicely. All right, we have the Eight of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Let me keep going and see what this is about because... Somebody stuck in their head and sh and stress, feeling stuck, overthinking something. Yeah, somebody's overthinking something. They're stuck and overthinking it. That this this uh, the hangman. Remember we saw a minute ago the hangman and um the devil energy wanted to come out. So the hangman came back out. Somebody's stuck. Or overthinking something. Could be this King of Pentacles. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This person, this King of Pentacles is somebody who has some money in their pocket. Or somebody who has an image. Or someone here who gets a lot of attention based on like what they have. Like I said, they somebody who drives a nice car. They look great. Um, they spend a lot of money too. 
they don't mind spending money, but I, um, I don't know what this, why this Eight of Swords is here. It's like this person could be overthinking this, or they're overthinking something. Nine of Wands. So that is energy um, <laughs> of like somebody wanted to act, make a move. <clears throat> what else here? Yeah, they want to talk. This person may just want to, this could be the person that wants to take you out on a date to talk. Ace of Swords. Have a conversation, communicate with you. Four of Cups wanted to come out in reverse. This could be a past person. Just figure it where it goes. I'm telling you there are multiple people here, but if somebody wants to come, whoever this per past person is, this King of Pentacles, you know this person. I feel like the Four of Cups in reverse is like a missed opportunity. What else? The Six of Swords. So, okay, they're getting unstuck. The Hierophant. Somebody's coming to get a commitment. Somebody, okay. Whoever this person is, past or present, you know, past or due, they are coming towards you. If this is a past person, they may fear that you're rejecting them. Either way, new or old, this person's like kind of worried that you're going to reject them. You're not going to accept their offer if they come towards you and speak to you or try to communicate with you. Either way, this person is actually looking for a commitment collective. Taurus energy here. Um, also, too, if this is a past person, uh, you know, there was a reason this didn't work out. Okay, this person is like thinking about it. They're the one who's coming to this epiphany, this having this shocking revelation that they should uh, have come out of conflict. They should have acted sooner. It's like they should have given you this commitment sooner. Three of Cups, they want to reunite. They want to hang out. They want to talk more. Oh, all of these cards just came out. Hold on. Bottom of the deck is the High Priestess. Pisces energy again. So here we go. Ten of Wands. This is a burden. Page of Wands. Somebody wants to talk. And then there's an Empress here. Taurus. So a lot of Taurus energy here. A lot of Pisces energy here, Cancer energy, if we're just talking about Major Arcana. Somebody wants to talk about how something was a burden. They view you as the Empress, though. The, the, they, they know your worth. They know your value. Okay, they see you as somebody who's loving, nurturing. You know what I'm saying? Like, this person does want to have a conversation for sure, for sure. They might even have some good news to share with you that they're ready to drop these burdens and reunite. For some of y'all, there could have been another person involved too. This person's been hiding that, which is, you know, hiding these emotions or, you know, not talking to you about it or something. <laughs> All right, listen, I don't know what this person got going on, but... Hold on. Ah! I'm going to pull from a different day. Alright. Show me more here about the situation. For the collective, please. Oh, Lord. That's a lot. Let's see. See, yeah, this person definitely thinking a whole lot. Oh, they! I told you somebody had a, a, a like a fan. Somebody's a groupie, or somebody has a lot of people watching them, or they get a lot of attention, or somebody has a fan club, or something. Thank you, spirit. That's what I was saying earlier here. Look at this. See, the two. If this is a past person, I feel like this is a past person, or you know, this past person. Y'all know who this person is, but I also feel like you have a lot of options here. Or this person that has a fan club, they have a lot of options and they chose a different option. 
and the two of you have not been talking on a regular basis and they you know the two of you you see how these two people have their backs turned to each other you know while you the two of you have been separated this person could be trying to get over you by having too much fun seeing too many other people they haven't been able to get over you even though i feel like they've been using other people to try to get over you and nothing has worked nothing is helping trust your intuition about this situation i think you guys know this is happening um you first i'm not making a move you know where to find me so this could be you like i'm not making a move at all you know what i'm saying if this is not you saying you're not making a move towards this person this person could have been in their ego you know this eight of swords and this hanging man is definitely somebody not making a move but they really really want to with this six of wands and this chariot card this person want to make a move so damn bad i don't know who they're fooling i don't know who they're fooling because all they do is think about you all i do is think about you mm -mm -mm. that's pb wonder okay just just so you know all this person does is think about you let's see what else and they want to have a conversation so they're going through some form of having some form of an epiphany that no matter how many people they go out on a date with no matter how many people they sleep with or how many one night stands they have the, these people are not you they're they are not the empress okay the empress is not showing up like this the empress is not in the back of the car dude no unless they're with their divine masculine they're not they're not no so that tells me this person that's what they're doing that's what they've been trying to do what else here for the collective please okay yeah competition divinely this person is being pushed towards you they feel guided to come towards you okay look at this crying over you i told you i don't know who they think they're fooling crying over you hurt sad upset child spirit just gonna tell all their business telling all their business telling everybody look this memories card came right back out this person is alone when they're alone they think about you and they they're just like oh my gosh how did i get here i thought i was gonna be okay you know yeah look at this truth they, this person wants to express to you the truth they want to come out of this four of cups energy because this four of cups was it came out in reverse man listen <laughs> i think you might be literally moving on look at what's on the bottom of this deck moving on thank you next like i said i feel like you guys have some other options i don't think you're really really bugging on this person or or, or stuck or attached to them or whatever i feel like you're in the energy you moved on um you turned your back to this person you, you know you're living your life and you're you're okay um divorce somebody might be coming towards you to tell you that they're getting a divorce or their divorce is final or tell you the truth about you know a situation involving somebody they used to be married to or a situation involving somebody who they could currently be married to everybody's situation is going to be a little bit different this competition card keeps wanting to come out Show me what else here, Spirit. Oh, yeah, this person is obsessed and Larry, they cannot stop thinking about you. Look at this. This person is obsessively thinking about you. Once the, I mean, yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody might be attached to someone also. Somebody could be attached to a toxic karmic. So just be careful and be mindful of some sort of energy here that could either A, be attached to your person. That could be the person that they'll cut off or whatever. Or this could simply just be the energy of your person just like uh, it's constantly thinking about you even though i said that right but this eight of swords and this hangman is the same energy i believe that is the energy that this king of pentacles is, is in well 
Since you guys are not communicating, let's see what they want to say to you. Okay. What does this person? Okay. What does this person want to say to the collective? All right. We have the thought of you with someone else drives me insane. Which is this obsessive, unhealthy, jealous, possessive person. They're concerned and they think that you're seeing somebody else. Why do I keep messing things up? So this person has some toxic ways too, right? And they know it. What else? I hear a million voices in my head telling me things I should have said. Yeah, a, mil a million voices in their head telling them they should have done something differently or they should, you know, and, but they chose to do whatever it was that they wanted to do. All right. We have, I wanted to play the field and now look where that got me nowhere. Told you, told you. We need to talk about everything. Yes. You see what I'm saying? That's this lightning energy. That's this talking energy. That's this Ace of Swords energy. Hello. This person want to talk so bad. And I'm telling you, somebody's like, you're going to get in their car or travel towards you and um, try to have a conversation with you. But this person is so stuck in their head right now. They're trying to figure out like how they're going to come about this. <sighs> I don't know. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, show me this, the potential outcome for this situation, please. What's the potential outcome between this divine masculine and divine feminine? Well, the death card, Scorpio energy. So, an ending <laughs> uh, or a transformation. So, you know, it's, it looks like it's up to you to be talking to a Scorpio. The world. This is ending. This is a karmic cycle that's going to that's ending. You're going to choose. This looks like to me, you guys are choosing to move on and close out a, a cycle. Potential outcome, please. Four swords in reverse. You're going to talk, but you may choose to continue to, to still move on. You know. Yeah, you're moving on, and I think you're going to manifest something new you're worried about something new okay yeah you're moving on look at this can't make this up six of swords you know yeah you're like i'm gonna move on yeah we can talk so this might be a conversation of closure you guys might be choosing i mean looks like you are you have free will you can do whatever you it is that you want but that's what this looks like so that's your reading you guys hit the like button